Hello, good afternoon. This is David Stutter talking to you. Today is my free daily signal for Thursday, May 21st, 2020. And right here, the signal I got for you is for CHF JPY. It's a Swiss franc versus the Japanese yen, okay? Now, if we look here on the four hour chart, we have a pretty strong signal to sell, okay? We already saw the this uh, arrow showed two candles ago, okay? Meaning it has not repainted. And the first candle where the indicator painted, it did drop did begin to drop and then the second candle form is shot back up okay it looked like it wasn't it looked like honestly look at that at that point it looked like it was gonna keep going up but then it shot back down and shut down a really a good ways within a, you know a couple hours and then now this new candle is formed and it's starting to go back up again so as you can see it formed a strong level of support if I drop down to the one hour chart watch this you can see it a little clearer and we're going to mark this right here uh, mark that support okay that is a very very strong uh, support level right now what we're looking for is for that support to break okay so what I recommend here's what I recommend place a sell stop pin in order below that and with a take profit okay now where do you put the take profit that's a question now what I would do is look right here you have a strong level of resistance right here also okay and this big wick on this candle shot up mark the resistance whenever a resistance is broken it becomes a support so what we're looking for is for this to break and then shoot down to here okay now if that if this breaks it's going to drop down again so we're looking for another support or resistance and I see this uh, wick right here that stands out it looks like a good level of support right there so we can put multiple pin and orders right here and catch this as it's going to go down now I like to start on a four hour chart okay like I always do and see that this is going to be going down long term so we want to be able to put multiple pin and orders as this drops down okay so if I go, drop back to the one hour chart you can see it's a little clearer and what we're going to do is we're going to put a sell stop pin and order just below this first line here okay and I'm gonna put this at 111 point 100 just make it even for now I can always readjust it later if I want and take profit I'm gonna put it at 111 111 even that's 100 pip take profit okay if you look here you have a sell stop in TP point of TPs is 100 pips but I can I'm going to grab this and just drop this a little bit and or the plant the idea here is to have about an equal space here and an equal space here okay that's kind of what we want to see all right now we're gonna put another sell stop pin in order right here and a take profit right here as well okay so how we do that right here is go here to new order and click on pin in order click on sell stop and then again we're going to put a pin, uh, sell stop at 110.900 I can always readjust this and take profit at 110.800 okay again 100 pips and that should be close enough and if you look here it says 100 pip take profit so that's good and boom I'll just readjust that slightly so that we have about an equal space here and an equal space there so there you go you got two sell stop pin orders we probably could put a third one if we wanted somewhere uh, maybe like right here you see this wick right here so I could put another small uh, pin order and take profit here if I want but for now these two are plenty they give me 200 pips on profit so I'm not really worried uh, about you know placing any more. Okay, I'll let you decide if you want to place more pin and orders. Now, also, if you want, you could just place a sell trade right now and start shooting up and just let it ride until you get another blue arrow. That's up to you. But with this strategy, you'll have multiple trades open and closed relatively quickly in less than in less than 24 hours so that you can avoid swap fees okay that's the whole idea about doing these pending orders all right so anyhow 
Let me know if you have any questions or comments about how to trade this particular signal or any of my other Telegram signals. If you have not joined my Telegram signal group, please let me know. That way I can get you added. Uh, also, there uh, you can contact me on Facebook. There's a link below in the description of this video for my personal Facebook. Please contact me there first. Also, there is a link from my private Facebook group. That's what I was trying to say. And you can request to join my Facebook group and post any questions or comments in my Facebook group. Okay. <laughs> so I know I, I saw my, I'm, I'm definitely repeating myself over and over again. But anyhow, I am here for you 100%. So if you have any questions at all, please contact me at any time and I'll be doing my very best to try to help you. So with that said, thank you and have a wonderful day.